Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make these Star Wars logo cookies. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Here are the things that I'm going to use. A 7 by 3 and a half inch Star Wars logo cookie cutter and I believe I got that from eBay. And I'll leave uh, information in the description box below. I'm going to be using yellow and black food coloring by Wilton. And some yellow stars by Bakerella and I got that from AC Moore. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to do is show you how the letters are going to look after you do your imprint on it. You leave them nice and sharp. So the only thing that you have to do is just cut out your cookie dough and put in your little imprint and press it in. And then when you take it out, you'll have your dough like this. You're just going to go ahead and bake it and this is what you're going to get. So what we're going to do here is just pretty much filling all the letters. I have my yellow in a tip two, in a flooding two, a little bit on the medium, not too much. It's a little bit more um, on the flooding. I would have liked it a little bit thicker. That way the, the lines can stay put. This one's a little bit more on the flooding consistency as I see it pouring out. So go ahead and fill out all the letters course one at a time because you will have to spread your icing and um, take your time in in spreading out um, your corners because they do have the um, the all the little corners nice and sharp so they actually look like the logo letters So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside, probably going to give this around three hours or I'm just going to leave it overnight because it is evening anyways. And then I'll um, go ahead and fill it in with my black. That way I don't get any of that um, black absorbent to the yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest, give this some time to dry in, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I gave this some time to dry. So what I have here is shimmer dust, not to be confused with petal dust. Petal dust is a more matte, flat uh, finish, a uh, flat powder. This has shimmer in it, um, like glitter. So you can add this. Now this is optional, but I'm just going to add it on there to make the letters, you know, shimmer a bit. So as you see here, I am outlining my letters in all this middle part. I'm going to fill it in, and then I'm going to come back to it. So I'm going to really quickly outline the bottom and fill these in here and really quickly smooth this out make sure that you your black is touching the edges of those letters because it does look like it's filled in or it's touching the letters but it's not it's kind of deceiving just go ahead and fill that in. Okay, so I'm going to turn this to the side here, flip it over. And I'm going to go ahead and work in the middle here. Outline my letters. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom part, and I'll be done with this filling, and again, outline my letters.
Alright guys, I think I am done. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Um, give this some time to dry. Probably about a couple, a couple hours or so. Um, so I can um, go ahead and, and finish up the rest. And that is it guys. Alright guys, so I gave this some time to dry. So what I'm going to do now is add my little stars on first. And then I'll do the little tiny white stars. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to, well, I'm not going to use this here. I'm going to use my little tweezers. And I have my uh, white icing that I'm going to use for the white um, little stars. But I'm also going to use it to attach my stars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one in the um, front and one at the end. And you can put them in any uh, spot that you like. But I'm just going to do it like, um, show you like how I've been doing it. You can also use black um, icing as well. Maybe that'll help hide the white icing underneath it. Sometimes it kind of spills out. And I'm gonna add one here. I'm trying to just add them where there's um, plenty of space for them. So they don't um, look too crowded in there. And these do have a flat, uh, like a front, I mean a top and a bottom to them. The top is a little bit domed and the, and the back of it is, is very flat. So do flip them over to where um, you can see the domed part. So I'm going to touch one there. Now this is optional. You don't have to use the white, uh, the yellow stars if you don't want to. You may see maybe a little too much yellow going on or you may feel maybe it's too cluttered. It's up to you. You can leave it plain. Um, without anything at all like I showed you at the uh, beginning but um, I do kind of like how that um, all the little uh, stars like that look like so now I'm going to use my same icing that I used to stick those on there this is in a, a thick consistency but not super super uh, dry it still has a little bit of moisture in it so just go ahead and do little dots and I recommend doing maybe uh, five or six of them at a time because then you have to come back and bring those peaks in because if they dry they're gonna look more like teardrops and instead of instead of um, little round bubbles you can also do maybe like little star shapes you know let me see if I can draw one here like I have the lines like this you can be creative something like that instead of the stars if you can't find them or if you don't want to use them because there's too much yellow going on you be the judge be creative all right guys so i'm gonna move on because this is gonna take a while and all right guys so i'm gonna continue on all right guys so you get the picture on um making the little stars so i like that you know not too many not like too few so i'm happy with that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna finish up the rest i'm gonna give this some time to dry make sure that my peaks are down and uh, put them all together because that's pretty much it all right guys there you have it star war logo cookies super cute i like these a lot they came out pretty neat uh, you be the judge if you want to add the stars or if you want to leave the logo plain with just yellow and black either way will look fine I will leave all sorts of information down in the description box below. I'll include my Star Wars cookie uh, playlist to make it easy for you. I have a few more if you're having a Star Wars theme party or just a fan. Give these a try. They're super easy to make. Um, I really like the, the cookie cutter that I use for this. It is a very large. Seven inches is a, a big cookie. But what I like about it is that I could also use it to make this logo out of fondant and use it on cakes. So you can um, get use out of it. It's a really neat cookie cutter. Alright guys, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Stay tuned for more. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching guys. And have a good one.